Hello and welcome, Cancer. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, so Cancer, uh, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate. That's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest behind. All right, Cancer. Let's see what is going on and what it is that you need to know. Okay, one more. There we go. Okay, let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress and the King of Swords. Okay, I, I had to take a peek. <laughs> um, with the Empress here, I do feel like there is a new beginning, possibly with communication um, between you and a person. All right, so we have Justice, Five of Wands, Knight of Cups, and then that Four of Pentacles here. Okay. Um, so what I keep getting from this is I kind of feel like something is off balance right now, and I feel like there's a lot of conflict going on, possibly internal conflict, pop, blah, possibly conflict, you know, with other people or within a relationship. Um, I keep getting, not knowing how you feel about a situation, but at the same time, because you don't know how you feel, you're not letting it go. It's like you're holding on to it more out of fear than you are out of love. Um, so maybe possibly kind of feeling a little bit stuck here, Cancer. Okay. For some of you, I feel like, you know, um, not that you're holding on to a situation out of fear, but it's more like you're scared to let yourself love this person or you're scared to open up about your feelings. Or, you know, this could be vice versa, Cancer. Somebody could be scared to open up, open up about their feelings for you. Um, okay, we had some flippers, and I think that's it. All right, so clarifying that justice card, we have the two of swords, seven of cups, and queen of cups. Yeah, see, I, I do feel like, you know, Cancer, you're kind of uncertain about how you feel about someone. Um, this could possibly be, you know, a relationship. It's like, you know, maybe you're kind of looking for other options, or, you know, you have other options, and you're needing to make a decision, you know, with this two of swords here, um, you know, how do you feel about this person? You know, do you want to move this forward? Do you want to move this towards commitment? Or, you know, do you want to kind of just, you know, cut it off and, you know, again, explore other options? Um, but I do feel like this is something that's just kind of weighing on you. Something that, like I said, you're, you're really kind of thinking about, you're wondering about. Okay. So that's way too many. Let's clarify that five of wands. Okay. So we have a strength card. We have the nine of wands and we have the nine of pentacles here. Okay. So I'm kind of getting um, like budding heads. I feel like somebody is kind of closed off, very independent, while the other person may kind of be the opposite. And I feel like that's where the two of you are kind of, because I keep getting like butting heads. Um, so that could be where you're kind of butting heads is, you know, somebody's very independent and used to kind of just doing things when they need to, when they want to, and the other person is not. And so that's causing, you know, that's causing some issues. It's causing some, um, you know, definitely someone again, kind of just being like, hey, you know, um, like I, I need you, I need this, I need that. And the other person's like, okay, well I need my time. You know, again, I still feel like somebody's holding back. Um, again, could be holding back feelings, could be holding back from moving forward. Um, I do feel like somebody's just needing some time to kind of figure some things out. And that's what the strength card is here for, because I feel like somebody is, you know, again, really kind of figuring some things out because I feel like there's some internal conflict going on. Um, causing, you know, possibly a little lack of confidence, lack of, you know, it's like I feel independent, but there's still something that's missing, you know, either from myself or from this connection, but I'm trying to figure it out. And it's like, I don't want to give up until I figure it out. Okay. So clarifying that Knight of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, Cancer, it kind of feels like you, like you're the one that's unsure about a connection. Okay. 
Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and then the Six of Pentacles, clarifying that Knight of Cups. Hmm. So maybe some of you are, you know, again, take it how it resonates, but this could be your person. Um, but somebody here is definitely kind of holding back their feelings because of their past. Um, this could even be someone from your past that is wanting to come back, uh, cancer, and kind of open up, see if we can, you know, get a new beginning here. It's like I, I wasn't in a good place at that time. Um, you know, I definitely kind of held back. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what decision to make. Um, cancer, for some of you, I keep getting like you've been ghosted. You didn't get that answer. I feel like you were betray you felt betrayed. Like something just kind of ended. And I feel like now that's why you're kind of cautious. Either you're cautious of this person because of how things, you know, went down before. Or, you know, again, you're, you're scared to open up to this person because of how things happened before. But again, I do feel like somebody wants to kind of start over, but somebody's a little bit apprehensive about it. With the Six of Pentacles, this is restoring balance. You know, am I ready for this commitment? Am I ready to, um, you know, move this forward? Do I want to start over? I do, but then I don't. You know, again, I keep getting like wishy-washy, kind of hot and cold, going back and forth. Like I said, there's definitely some uncertainty within this connection here. Or maybe, like I said, it's just within yourself. But there's definitely some uncertainty. All right, we have Karma, which would be the Judgment card, Death, and then the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So that's clarifying the four of pentacles. So see, I kind of feel like somebody's kind of putting themselves, like really kind of, you know, focusing on work or putting themselves into work um, just because they're trying to avoid, you know, making a decision or they're trying to, you know, avoid some unfinished business here that they know they need to focus on, they need to pay attention to because they're not letting it go. But at the same time, they're not, they're just stuck. You know, they're not letting it go but they're not making a decision to move forward from it either. You know, like, I'm just, I'm going to hang on to it because I don't know. I'm scared. You know, hanging on, but mostly hanging on out of fear. So, you know, I'm feeling like a little bit of frustration too. I'm just feeling like I don't know what to do. So I'm just going to, you know, put myself, kind of submerse myself into, you know, task A and B and C. And just so I don't have to focus on this because I don't know what to do. And so I can't make a decision just yet. You know, do, do I just want to end this? Do I want to start over? Or do I want to give this a second chance? So again, I keep getting back and forth. I keep getting an indecision. Um, so definitely kind of a lot going on here, Cancer. I feel like, you know, again, it's just going to take some time. It's going to take some patience for you to, you know, kind of figure some things out. Um... You know, and if this person is truly serious about wanting to fix things, wanting to make this connection work, I feel like they're going to stand by your side and they're going to give you the time and the patience, you know, that you need. Um, and I feel like that's going to kind of show you, you know, show you that they are serious about this. Because like I said, it, this, the uncertainty really kind of feels like it's more on your part of what you want you know, from this connection? Do you want it at all? Because something to you, I feel like it still kind of feels like it's missing. Because there's something in this connection that is uncomfortable. Okay. So we have improving health and we have opportunity. Bottom of the deck, we have look for a sign. So some of you could be, you know, asking for guidance, you know, watching tarot readings, um, you know, asking for signs, you know, something like that. Like, you know, am I supposed to be here? What am I supposed to do? What decision am I supposed to make? You know, I, I just feel like somebody's really kind of just, and I feel like somebody's like wearing a mask. They're not expressing this to the other person. It's just like, oh no, everything's fine. I'm just really busy. I'm just having to work late. I'm having to do this. I'm having to do that. And not really opening up to this person. Like, you know, something's just, I don't feel right. You know, I, I feel like something's missing, but I, I got to figure it out and I just need time. You know, so I really feel like open, honest communication is definitely the way to go um, because I do feel like it's going to bring new opportunities 
with improving health, you know, again, this is talking about not just physical health, but mental health, you know, really getting in alignment. Um, I feel like, you know, again, somebody could be suffering from possibly depression or just feeling like, you know, I don't know what's going on. You know, I just feel like this change. I feel very overwhelmed. So again, this is really talking about focusing on you as well and taking care of you. Okay, so we have, let's see, 1-1, one, one. we have 22, we have 55, and then we have 1-6. So the one, um, the number one here, you know, this is talking about new beginnings, it's talk and talking about, um, you know, creating things, you know, creation, you know, um, with the 22, again, this is talking about you know, peacemaker, diplomacy, you know, again, health, focusing on your health, you know, are you um, drinking too much? Are you, you know, um, overeating? Are you not taking care of yourself? Are you, you know, smoking? Are you, you know, just things like that. I feel like you're um, needing to be or going to be very health, health conscious. Um, you know, and again, I'm not a medical professional, but I do feel like, you know, a lot of you are going to really kind of be focusing on improving your health just to improve and make sure that you feel better as well. Um, with peacemaker, like I said, I feel like that's one of the reasons that you're not opening up to this person is because you want to keep the peace. Um, you're like, you know, I don't want to upset this person. I don't want, you know, cause like I said, I kept getting like butting heads to where somebody's very independent and the other person is quite the opposite. So it's like, you don't want to upset this person, especially if they are the, you know, kind of codependent person. Um, you don't want to upset them. You don't want to, you know, start a fight or anything like that. So I just keep getting like, I'm trying to be the peacemaker, you know, I'm trying. So therefore I'm just going to keep everything kind of bottled up, but that's really not helping the situation. With the number 55, you know, this is talking about, you know, um, change is the only constant we know. It's also talking about, you know, a divinely orchestrated change. So I'm kind of seeing almost like a tower moment um, that's going to be taking place here. And I feel like it's going to be within your, you know, relationship, um, within a love situation ship, you know, and I feel like it will bring some harmony, but I just, I do feel like, you know, there's definitely going to be a big change taking place, um, especially within this connection here. Let's go ahead and let's go. Some tiles here. Okay, so we have L, I, N. We have E. We have R. Actually, seeing a couple R's there. Another L, an X, a K, E, Z. Okay, and then a P. Hmm. Let me see. Um, Klein. Possibly Kevin or Calvin. Um, I'm getting Riley. I'm getting Xavier. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave these here. See if you guys, what you get from it. See if, you know, you're getting anything. Um, I'm also kind of seeing Ken come out here. Um, Pen. So maybe needing to journal you know, write out your feelings instead of keeping them inside, you know, getting a way to, um, you know, kind of focus that energy somewhere else instead of internalizing it and then giving it that, you know, that five of wands, that internal conflict. All right. So we have a few charms here. All right. We have Aquarius. We have Capricorn. And we have a Leo. Okay, making sure. All right. 
Um, so yeah, so that's the only ones I'm seeing there. Um, again, health-wise, you could possibly be needing to see a dentist. Um, or, you know, again, focusing more on, you know, your health, you know, what you're, you know, eating, you know, things like that. Um, I keep getting somebody going more like natural. Um, or, you know, again, you know, kind of just being very mindful of their health. Um, with the feather there, again, I keep getting, you know holding on to like negative energy or holding on to things. And with that feather, it's saying it's time to release it. I also keep getting that you will be seeing some kind of feather as like a sign. All right. And then we have a little coin here. So you could be having some financial issues, um, something along those lines here. And then with the little arrow of with the heart, again, I keep getting like there is um, a love situation, you know, something here that's going to be either coming in, taking place, or that's going to be finding some kind of movement. Um, with the little clock here, again, I keep getting like divine timing, um, something, you know, in time, something taking time, needing patience, you know, something along those lines here. And then with the little star, you know, again, I'm seeing a need for healing, but I am getting wish fulfillment as well. So it's like, you know, not everything is bad. I feel like, you know, you're, you're manifesting something. Um, I feel like, you know, again, there's going to be wish fulfillment. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. I just feel like you need some time. You need some patience to figure things out. So, all right, Cancer, that is what I have for you. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. As always, have a great rest of your week and take care.